I'm Ryan with ExtremeTerrain.com and this is a very special episode of Throttle Out, one I very much look forward to shooting. This is SEMA 2018. As we suspected, there are a ton of JLs out here. We are going to show you my top three picks from the show. Again, it's hard to pick. There are a ton of vehicles out here. We're also going to be covering a lot of the new JL products. JL products been a little bit slow to roll out. If you have a JL, you're probably waiting for some stuff to come out to bolt onto your Jeep, but there's a lot of new stuff out here today. We're gonna to be bringing you a lot of that as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're outside of the Silver Lot. A lot of the awesome builds are inside at the booths, but there are some amazing builds outside here as well. These are a lot of the really collaborative builds that happen. As you can see from the amazing Jeep behind me here, this was a bodyguard Jeep, but it has a ton of really nice parts on it from a lot of other companies as well. So we're gonna take a spin around and see what we can find outside here. One of the Jeeps that you'll see walking around out here in the Silver Lot that you cannot not stop and look at is behind me. This is the Big Willie. This was a Jeep that was thought up to be one of those mutant vehicles out at Burning Man and became something fully functional and very real and is actually going to be running trails like the Rubicon Trail this upcoming year. This is a Cummins diesel powered 1.648 to 1 1948 Willys that is completely custom. Everything is bigger, so everything had to be handmade on this Jeep. This thing is absolutely amazing to see in person. And what's crazy is all the little details that look exactly like a regular Jeep would have, just supersized. There is absolutely no shortage of JLs out here at SEMA 2018, and this is a great example of some of the new products that we're seeing. This is Go Rhino's build, and because the JL has been completely redesigned, all the mounts for lights also had to be completely redesigned. So you can see up here by the brand new hood latches, the hood hinges, of course, across where the hood bumps are and the washers, and a 50-inch light bar, all completely redesigned for the new body style. This is a great example of what you can do if you're into lights like I am and want to completely outfit your new JL. My number three pick JL out here at SEMA 2018 is right behind me. This is the Rebel Off-Road JLU. And we covered a Rebel Off-Road build in last year's SEMA video as well. They do really, really nice stuff. What I like about this is that it's incredibly functional. And those of you that have seen my videos know that that's pretty important to me. A lot of these SEMA builds are definitely over the top. This one included. However, there is still an element of function to everything that was done. You have curry axles under this thing, uh, Terraflex control arms, king coilovers up front and in the back, a set of 42-inch tires, absolutely massive tires, and then, of course, everything else that goes along with one of these really well-built Jeeps also. So really well-built inside and out, but most of this stuff is all about function, and that's what I'm all about as well, which is what makes this my number three pick. So we're walking past the RIP Superchargers booth here. We saw a JL, we had to stop and talk to Ross about what he was able to do with the new redesigned 3.6 liter. Ross, thank you so much for talking to us about it. So tell us a little bit about what you did here with the new JL 3.6. Uh, the 3.6 has been revised. One says it's you know it's the same, it's still a Pentastar, but there are changes in the engine. It's a little bit more compression. The actual casting has changed quite a bit. There's some bolt holes that we used to rely on that aren't there. So it is a full redesign. That sounds like you had to do a lot of work here. And you said it was pushing some pretty good numbers, even better than what the JK 3.6 was pushing. So the idea now is because we've got the transmission and we've been doing a lot of development on our 3.6 liter cars, we've seen those cars up to, let's say, 490 wheel horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. We applied some of that with the XL intercooler. This intercooler is an upgrade, even for our 3.6 liter 12 to 18. And in the JL, it's become a standard product. It's 44% larger in both volume and cooling in comparison to the old smaller intercooler you're accustomed to seeing. Yeah. So this vehicle has actually clicked over 400 horsepower. We've made about 409 at the rear wheel, even on the automatic. And we have a six speed that we're gonna start testing with next month. And that should see a very big number as well. To get up over 400 with this kit is really amazing yeah. in, in any Jeep. I'm really excited to see what you guys can start to do with that two liter engine, being that that's what I have in my JL. I know you guys are excited to see yeah. that as well. The two liter is something that we're gonna start doing somewhere in November, December. Okay. It's gonna be a winter project sure. for us, but those numbers seem to be pretty consistent. Thanks for talking to us, Thank Ross. Thank you. We'll All right. see you Bye, soon. guys.
We're over here at Weston's booth and one of the new products that I've seen that's very, very unique to Weston is right here. If you have the Rubicon, it has the factory hood vents in it, but how functional they are, I don't know. What this is going to do is allow you to pop that vent out, pop this housing, which is all steel powder coated housing in place, and have a light in it that's actually going to provide you with some very functional light. So whether you're somebody who flips the windshield down and doesn't want to have any of this stuff in the way, or you just want to make an otherwise less functional space a little bit more functional, this is something that's really, really cool. Now, I did talk to Weston. This is still in development. They said they've been getting a pretty good reception, so hopefully this is coming to market pretty soon, but we'll have to see. We're out here at the Rugged Ridge Off-Road Success Center and they have a ton of cool Jeeps here. One of them that I did want to mention to you, built by Dave Doach. This is a tribute to Gunny. This of course being a JK, not a new JL, but still a beautiful build and a tribute to somebody who we lost last year. One of the other really cool Jeeps that I saw here, built by Starwood Customs. Let's go check that one out. So this is one of the other Jeeps that caught my eye in this off-road success center by Rugged Ridge. This is a Starwood Customs. And if you know Jeeps, you know that name. They build some really high-end customized Jeeps. This, of course, is a JL. You can tell by the Highline fenders in the hood, this is a Rubicon, or at least what's left of one after all the customization. This has that bed liner finish all over it. It has that fastback top that Starwood Customs loves to do. This is a really mild build when it comes to SEMA builds, but it definitely caught my eye and is a very cool looking Jeep. Behind me is my number two JL of SEMA. This is an absolutely beautiful build by Terraflex. And if you guys are on social media, you may have seen Terraflex through this together in really record time to get it here. And again, it's just an absolutely beautiful build. These are 39 and a half inch KM3s. This has the Terraflex Dana 60 axles underneath of it, of course, locked. This is a CT3 suspension system by Terraflex, 3.3 adjustable piggyback shot a bunch of Nemesis armor on this thing. It is just exactly what you would expect from Terraflex. It's a really clean build. It's a very, very functional build because this thing has been wheeling and will go wheeling again. This is not just a build that they put together to park here in the booth. This thing is gonna see some hard trail use and it's just all about function and it just happens to also be really, really beautiful. And that's why I chose it for my number two. We are very excited to be over here with the man, the myth, the yeah, legend yeah. himself, <laughs> Dennis. And what we're here to talk about today are some of the new JL specific products. This is a spare tire carrier for the go. JL. Tell us a little bit about this. It's kind of a spin off from uh, the JK tire carrier we did. We took the center section, instead of using the round slider piece, we actually did this extruded aluminum piece okay. that just lines it up straight in there and then it binds it with a clamp here and then from the top. And then with the bracing on it, it'll carry some weight. What's really cool is when you go to take your tire off, rather than breaking out an Allen wrench and going through all that stuff, you just drop that. We just use a little bike clamp oh, on perfect. it. Yeah. So you take that off. So it's a real quick and clean way to carry your spare. Yeah, definitely excited to be offering our customers this along with some of the other stuff that you have. One of those being the wheels, right? Can we go check those out? Yeah. So this is a new JL and JK, being that they're the same bolt pattern wheel that you guys have. And other than it just being a cool looking wheel, it has a little bit of additional functionality built into it. Can you tell us about that? There's a couple of things. It has a, a, a rock rash ring on it. Okay. That'll come off so you can beat it up, pull this thing off, swap it out so you haven't trashed your wheel. And then these uh, attractive little red knobs here. What's happening here is this is actually a way to air down your tire quick and clean. So okay. they're adjustable so you can set it so if I want my tires to go to 15 PSI, I just crack this open, and that thing will air it down to 15 PSI and stop. Perfect, that's awesome. And then when I want to air it back out, I just go to this one, my Schrader valve's in there, I can air it back up. Very nice. We took it from 45 pounds to 15 pounds in a minute and 15 seconds. We're super excited to see what comes out next. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. I appreciate it. So we're over here at the Poison Spider booth and this is one of the areas that I was really excited to check out when it comes to new products. Poison Spider makes some incredibly high quality bumpers and even though the JK stuff did bolt up to the JL, it didn't follow the body lines exactly, not just with Poison Spider with, but with all manufacturers. So to see somebody who builds something that is so high quality like Poison Spider, to have them be offering an option specifically for the JL is very exciting to see. 
They also have a lot of other armor pieces that I'm really excited to be seeing here too, especially things like front fenders. With the JL having a light in it, also having that vent in the front fender, it was really interesting to see what the aftermarket would be able to do with some aftermarket fenders. And Poison Spider has a ton of great options out, as well as some rock rails, some vents for the hood, all kinds of good stuff. And I've said it a couple times now, but you know when it's Poison Spider, it's gonna be really high quality, which I'm really excited about seeing for the JL. We were walking by the American Fastbacks booth and I had to stop and take a look at this TJ. I still have my 98 TJ, I'll always be a TJ guy at heart and this thing is absolutely amazing. This is sitting on 40s with these King coilovers. It has a custom three link in the front, four link in the back. This thing has a ton of custom modifications on it, but overall it's just a really mean looking TJ that I had to show you guys. We stopped over here at the Rugged Ridge booth because they have an awesome build. Me having a two-door, I'm really excited to see what some of the guys here at Team have done with the two doors. This is a great build, and one of the best parts about it is it shows off all the new JL products from Rugged Ridge. So one of the first things that you're gonna see on here are these tube doors. These are a really nice item. They also have these hoop style side steps. Front and rear bumper are still in development, but we've seen kind of the direction that they're going in. One of the things that Rugged Ridge is known for is their modular snorkels. This is a super clean snorkel solution for the JL, at least for the 3.6 liter. I'm gonna be waiting for that two liter version to come out. Also a bunch of other stuff from Rugged Ridge, including these hood catches, which they've been known for, the third brake lights, the tailie covers, the fuel fill caps, all of those little accessories that you're used to seeing from Rugged Ridge. They're now coming out with for the 2019. You're gonna be able to fully outfit and completely change the look of your Jeep. Like this two door that we have behind us, this thing is an absolutely beautiful Jeep. We're over here in the Steer Smarts booth and they have an amazing JL here. This thing has a crazy rock crawler suspension on it. Of course, it's on 40s, really big build, really nice looking Jeep, but what's under the hood is what's really impressive. This has a 6.4 liter Hemi under it and this thing apparently runs. But again, it's really all about the steering components with Steer Smarts. They make some upgraded stuff, their Yeti line for the JL that they have coming out now that's going to drastically improve what is from the factory. In fact, most Jeeps will be flexed in their booth. This one is flexed on drag links and tie rods made by Steer Smarts, and their stuff is absolutely bulletproof. One of the new things that Steer Smarts has been working on is this active damper setup here. So this is something that you can actually adjust from inside the Jeep. A lot of the dampers that are adjustable are going to be adjustable from outside. This you can do right on the dash, which is something that's pretty cool. So you can go from a very stiff steering wheel to something that's a lot looser just by turning a knob, which is something that is really cool. So as you may have guessed, my number one pick for SEMA 2018 is the Black Ops 4x4 JLU. This thing is absolutely massive and there's so much work that is necessary to get a set of 49s under a JLU. As you can see from the front fender here, most of it has been cut away in the back. Pretty much a full comp cut has been done back there. You have these massive ORI air struts coming up into the hood space, into the engine bay space. Out back, they cut right through the floor for the travel that they have on this Jeep. They needed that much suspension room. It has a full PSC steering. Of course, uh, the Curry Rock Jock axles underneath of this thing, TerraFlex control arms. The scale of this Jeep is really hard to explain. It's absolutely massive. As you can see, it's flexed up there, even taller than one of the tires. So that's over 49 inches in the back with the other three tires firmly planted on the ground. And the amount of detail that went into this build is really what's amazing to me. I and mean, you can see right here, they notched out the frame a little bit to make it so that you can turn these big tires without rubbing the frame. Is that little bit of a attention to detail, but it's actually necessary because this Jeep isn't just something that they built to sit here in the booth and look pretty. This thing actually goes out on the trail and wheels and wheels hard. So of all the Jeeps that we saw here, and we saw a lot of great ones, this definitely takes the number one spot, at least in my opinion. So that's gonna do it for us out here at SEMA 2018. I brought you my top three picks. There were a ton of awesome JLs out here. Also brought you a bunch of brand new JL products that we are very excited to see start coming out now that the JL has been around for a little while. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what your favorite Jeep of SEMA 2018 is. And also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you can continue to see some of the best Jeep content out there.